Hey everyone, welcome to Geek Gardener's channel. In this video, I want to take the opportunity to explain you all how I grow my plants in my greenhouse or in my garden. In most of my videos, I get asked questions like, what is the potting mix that you use? What is the secret behind the growth? So in this video, I'm going to break it down step by step on how I start my plants. It all boils down to using the right nutrients and also the right potting mixture. People often get confused when we say mixture, they automatically assume there's going to be a lot of things. It's going to be very complex and uh, them for sure will not have the access to that secret mix. And you're not alone. All of us used to think like that. We always look at what is that secret mix. But in this video, I'm going to break it open and reveal everything. Here, we are going to make a potting mix that is focused on hydroponics specifically. And in a subsequent video, I'm going to make potting mixes for various crops, terrariums, orchids, different cacti, succulents, etc. So let's get started. As I say in my training videos, potting mix is mainly for anchorage, uh, water holding, air porosity, and it, it also supports the plant in storing the water, etc. Now, in hydroponics, it is fairly simple. We don't add a lot of things and make it very complex. If you understand the functionality of each of the additive that we are adding, it is fairly simple to know how much of each one to be added. Now, I have with me one liter of cocoa peat. Coconut coir, coir peat, cocoa coir, coir pith, it's all the same. I have one liter. Remember, the easy way to deal with calculations in terms of substrate or growing medium is to represent them as volume and not weight. So I have taken one liter of cocoa peat as a growing medium. And now the first mixture I'm going to tell you is this one. There is no need to add anything. It's that simple. You can use this straight cocoa peat to grow plants, water them with hydroponic nutrients. You will be just fine. Now, hey, I thought you're going to add a lot of different things and make it a little more cool. Um, but you're just saying only one thing. Well, you don't need anything else to really actually succeed. All you need is this to grow plants. Now, if you want to make it slightly more, more what? More draining. Now, this cocoa peat holds some amount of water. How much amount of water? We will probably shoot another video on helping you understand how to calculate the water holding capacity of cocoa peat. But for now, imagine this cocoa peat holds some amount of water. For certain plants, if you don't need a lot of water to be held by the cocoa peat, you can add an additive. What is that additive? It's going to be draining water easily so the particle sizes are big now i have with me what is called perlite now it is like big crystal sea salt but it's very very light it's extremely light medium you can see it will fly so this is the medium i'm going to use i'm just pouring it here for you to see how light it is if you want to make this medium lighter i would add 20 percent of this by volume not by weight by volume take 800 ml of cocoa peat 200 ml of perlite that will make it a slightly more draining mixture now i'm going to do just that to show you how it will turn out so so i'm gonna take out 200 ml so taken out 200 ml of cocoa peat so i have 800 ml with me so now i'm gonna um, fill up up to one liter so we have 20 percent per light 80 percent cocoa peat now i'm gonna open it and mix it You see, this is the mixture we get. You see a lot of big particles of perlite. 
it adds to the drainage of the potting medium this is a good mix now if you want the drainage to be much more than what i have shown or if you want the drainage to be slightly higher than what you expect you can add more it is that simple so both of these elements have no nutrient so you can add more of this less of this it doesn't matter what we are trying to alter is the water holding capacity so a mixture can have 10 percent per light 20 percent per light 30 percent per light it is not going to cause any difference in plant growth it is going to cause a difference in how much of water it's going to hold so accordingly you will have to water once a day twice a day or thrice a day depending on how draining this mixture is now some of you might ask hey sadly i'm in a place i have no access to perlite should i just keep my um, idea of making my own potting mixes absolutely not i'm going to give you cheaper alternatives to perlite that can increase the drainage of the potting medium now i'm going to show you another way to increase the water holding capacity let's say the coco peat that you have is draining water too fast and you don't want to water too many times a day that you want to just keep it once a day so we are going to again fill it up with 800 ml of coco peat bear with me here i'm just i have more coco peat with me okay again we don't want to have to um, we don't this is yeah slightly thousand i'm going to remove it till 800 so uh, a shift in percentage here and there is okay um, don't be too hard on yourself i have taken 800 ml of coco peat to this i'm going to mix vermiculite what is vermiculite vermiculite is a micaceous rock heated to a high temperature and at that temperature it simply pops its pop is not the right word it exfoliates and that is called exfoliated vermiculite it has several layers thereby having a lot of surface area where water can cling on to so this holds a lot of water so if you want your mix to hold a lot of water add vermiculite to your mix so this looks like gold it's not gold there are multiple grades of vermiculite if you can get slightly larger grade or uh, agriculture grade that's the best uh, grade to work with don't go for the fine grade finer the grade higher the water holding capacity so uh, just remember that i'm going to add Two hundred ml. So now I have one liter put together. Eighty percent cocoa peat, twenty percent vermiculite. So I'm going to mix it in this side. So this is how it looks. This is a mixture that holds more water. this mixture holds slightly less water now you understand perlite for increasing the drainage vermiculite for increasing the water holding capacity so you keep playing with these two percentages to arrive at the right water holding capacity okay if you want a highly draining medium make it 50 50 now one important point please remember this is perlite if you press it it becomes a powder I have seen nurseries using thermocol beads, polystyrene beads, to give the same look. While it may help to make it look like it's perlite, it is an absolute disaster. Why? Thermocol beads float, and once you water, they are all going to come up well. And definitely, it is not a natural medium. This is derived from a rock. That is not a rock. That is a petroleum product. so it is definitely not friendly with the mix and more you add more problems you are creating so stick to perlite but i can hear you say hey i have no access to perlite what else i can use now if you have no access to perlite the best alternative that you have is this this is coco chips it is the same coco peat instead of having it uh, in the powdery form it is shredded and given as this 
Now, I'm going to show you another uh, mix with this. Again, I'm doing my 800 ml mix here. Is it 800? No. Yeah. So, so I'm going to add 20% of the chips into this. very very lightweight okay now I'm gonna mix it you can see it becomes a very highly draining medium and you can definitely use this for orchids cacti succulents this creates a heavily draining medium you pour water it will drain the minute away It'll, you can even add some more if you want it to be extremely draining. Now, this is a very good replacement for perlite. It may not look as pretty as perlite, but definitely does the job. One important note, this cocoa peat chips hold a lot of salt. Remember in my previous video, I explained how to measure the salt content of cocoa peat. You can do an experiment with cocoa chips um, to find out how salty it is. Um, so before adding cocoa chips into your mixture soak it in water and drain off the water probably two to three iterations that will remove all the salt content in the cocoa chips and once you have the cocoa chips mixed it's going to be a very very draining mix i have used these kind of mixes very successfully for my tomato plants bell pepper brinjal roses i have roses taller than me um, all sitting in a 12 inch pot so it is definitely uh, very very simple to create a potting mix in hydroponic especially you are going to take control of all the fertilizer requirement for the plants all you need to give the plant is the right potting mix also imagine always when in doubt choose towards a higher drainage than lower drainage drainage is one of the very underrated parameter in designing potting mixes we have developed potting mixes for uh, different companies where we always choose higher drainage over higher water retention and when you have higher drainage the roots are going to get excellent amount of oxygen they'll grow so well and the root system will be extremely good so so this is all the type of potting mixes that we use there is also one thing you can also get fiber cocoa fiber if you want to add that into your potting mix for my demo i don't have it but don't worry if you don't get access to fiber cocoa peat alone is just good enough find ways to make a potting mix and do gardening don't wait for things that you may not get and not garden at all so whatever you have i've told you the principles in which all these additives work um, so this is the way we do basic additives in terms of water holding capacity the cocoa peat is the body of the mix perlite vermiculite or cocoa chips adds water holding capacity draining capacity to the mix now in the next video we're going to talk about how to enrich the potting mix that is for non-hydroponic growing medium enriched potting mix this is for non-hydroponic growing medium this video is primarily focused on hydroponic growing mix and the next video please stay tuned subscribe to this channel i'm going to give you excellent potting mixes for uh, your home garden ornamental plants fruiting vegetable plants we are also going to touch upon organic potting mix and non-organic potting mix stay tuned till then happy gardening bye bye